Okay, so I know you guys are probably thinking like what the heck you didn't show how you got your hair like this but honestly um, I didn't do much like I had a hairstyle in prior to what you see here and I took that hairstyle down and honestly this is what came when I took that hairstyle down it was just a slick back with two ponytails on the side and I'll try to insert a picture somewhere I'm not sure but I'll try to insert a picture for you guys so you guys can see what my hair looked like prior to this but honestly um, I thought about washing my hair and I was going to show you guys um, the full process of a, you know a heatless blown out or how to achieve a heatless blown out hair but since my hair was kind of already in that blown out state, it is still kind of wet in the back um, from that hairstyle because I use a lot of water and gel. But um, I'm just going to get right into this and just show you guys how I'm going to stretch my hair some more without using heat. So let's get started. Grab a wide tooth detangling comb and start from your ends and work your way up. Use a Denman brush or a paddle brush to comb out your roots. Now that that one section is combed out, you are going to braid it down. Repeat this same process on all four sections of your hair. This is how much hair that I managed to comb out. It is not a lot, so that means I was being very gentle. So make sure you are being very gentle and not causing breakage. I haven't even started my twist yet and I'm already tired. Alright, so I have put my um, braids in my hair and I did this so I could further stretch my hair and actually create that full blown out effect. So um, yeah, I'm actually, since my hair is just a little bit wet um, and towards the back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these sit in my hair for probably an hour two hours as long as I need until my hair is completely dry so if you are doing this on freshly washed hair make sure that when you are done conditioning it and doing everything you need to do to it um, get a detangling comb 
and just kind of stretch your hair and comb it out as much as you can and then put these braids in your hair. I did four braids, it's very simple, very easy. So yeah, put these four braids in your hair and then just sit and wait for it to dry. Honestly, you can do this overnight. You can let these braids sit in. Um, if you do have freshly, freshly washed hair, then I'm pretty sure you probably need to um, make this a two day process. But yeah, you can let this these braids sit in overnight as long as you would like until your hair is completely dry. So I'm gonna come back and um, after maybe one, two hours, I'm gonna come back and um, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of this process. So keep watching. Grab that Denman brush or paddle brush and begin the process of your heatless blowout. Start from the ends and work your way up. So now that my hair is blown out and stretched, we are going to start the process of doing these mini twists. So I'm just starting off by kind of just using my finger to create a part where I want it. And this was not perfect, so I did have to go back and forth to the mirror in the bathroom to make sure these parts were perfect. And here is my first part. As you can see, it kind of starts a little bit towards the bottom of my ear, but a little bit in the middle of my ear. So what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing a rat tail comb and I'm literally just um, dragging the end of that comb downwards. I don't need a mirror for this. All I have to do is just feel my way around and that was it. So I'm tying up that extra hair to the side Get that same rat tail comb and further detangle this one piece of hair. Grab your rubber bands and we are going to get started. And I also parted off the sections of my hair, sort of kind of small. Um, they were about the size of my middle finger. So just keep that in mind when you are making these sections for your mini twist. Um, so do make them sort of kind of small.
So you want to make sure that the next part that you do is about half an inch or an inch away from the previous part. You want these parts to be close to each other so your hair can be a lot more fuller.
we done made it to the end y'all if y'all still here sticking with me i appreciate y'all for real but we have one more section left to do so let's get to it Y'all know the feeling when you're done with that last twist. Ooh, yes. This took about four and a half hours to do. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. video I showed you guys how to moisturize your twist and style them I did five hairstyles so um yeah and in that video my I didn't do my mini twist on um blown out hair it was on wet hair so I think my mini twists were literally